Hey guys, Derekster here, and I have a very, very, very special treat that I'm going to be starting for you today. And uh, if you don't recognize this game already and got giddishly, girlishly excited, then shame on you because this is one of the greatest games in the existence of gaming ever. And I don't care what you say, I'm right. So there. If you don't know what this game is and you love this game just as much as I do, then kudos to you. I love you. Let's be friends. So, I actually just recorded about three minutes of this just a second ago, and uh, finally, for the first time, actually started recording while my mic was muted. So, I am restarting. I do have a controller here that I have all hooked up, which is great because trying to play this on the keyboard on the PC sucks. I've tried it. It's about a year ago. I, I didn't make it very far, like halfway through the Deku Tree. It was awful. But uh, this is uh, the file from there, so we're just gonna get rid of that from my failed, horrible attempt at recording with my mic muted, which I should just double check that again just to be sure I didn't... Okay, we're good. We're good. You can hear me. That is wonderful. Derek. That's my name. I can't fit Derek's stir, so... Spoilers, my name is Derek. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that wasn't obvious at all. So, I kind of want to try to like put voices to people when they talk, but at the same time, I figured out I'm not very good at it. So, we'll we'll just see what happens, okay? Okay, I'm nervous. In the vast, deep forest of High Rule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Am I talking loud enough? Each Kokiri. Kokiri? Kokiri? Whatever. I missed some of that. I'm sure you read it. No big deal. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. <laughs> Loud! Noises. That's just obnoxiously loud. I hope the sounds in general aren't obnoxiously loud. Uh, if they are, then they're going to have to get turned down for the next episode. Bye, Zelda. Hi, pointy nose man. I just realized his eyebrows are connected to his actual hair. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? <laughs> his eyebrows. It wasn't quite a unibrow. It dis there was a disconnect in the middle. But, uh, <laughs> they went all the way back and, like, connected to the top of his sideburns. Oh, that was great. I've played this game way too many times, and yet I've ne I just now noticed that. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Navi! Hey, what's up? Oh, Navi the fairy. Listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. I think I used a different voice there. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri... Oh, the Kokiri Forest. Oops. The source of life has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. This voice is so bad, I'm sorry. Luckily, I, it's just the intro. It'll be over eventually, I promise. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. I like how they highlight important points for you with words, as if you're like some college student going through your textbook, highlighting all the things you need to know. Just, just in case you weren't reading it, they throw a color at you just to be sure that you at least see there's something important there. Not that you're going to understand it without the context of everything else. But, you know, just to grab your attention, I guess. Now that I mention I don't really see the point of bolding and making a different color. Oh well. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. Do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, 
the world depends upon thee. I don't know. I'm not good at being dramatic, I'm sorry. I tried, just for you. And then, I <laughs> like, super dramatic, oh my gosh, crazy, I'm gonna die, he needs to save the world. And then, boisterous, bouncy, happy music, and high-pitched noises, and funniness coming up here in a second. Hey, hey what's up? That was the orange-haired guy. Yeah, right there. Boink. See? <laughs> completely ruin the mood. You forget completely that the craziness is happening and that things are dying and you need to save the world. And all of a sudden, a fairy runs into a fence. I, I can't do Navi's voice. It's too high-pitched. Maybe? I'll try it. Hello, Derek! Wake up! Oh, that's awful. We're gonna keep it. The great Deku tree wants to talk to you! Derek, get up! It's like a mix between Navi and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> hey! Come on! <laughs> this is horrible. <coughs> oh. Can I rule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. This is great. This music is so catchy! You finally woke up! I'm Navi, the fairy! <laughs> I'm gonna laugh every time I talk as Navi. I apologize right now. The great Deku tree asked me to buy... <laughs> to be your partner from now on! Nice to meet you! Oh, I don't know if I can do this or not. <laughs> the great Deku tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now! Oh man, I'm just gonna be laughing at myself. This whole thing is gonna be great. I don't care if you guys find it entertaining anymore. I find it entertaining for me because I am doing ridiculously stupid things like combining Navi and Mickey Mouse. Hey, her fairy's pink. It would fit my voice better. Yahoo! Hi, Derek! Down we go. Oh, what do you want? Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Derek! <laughs> wow, that's great news! Wow, stop saying wow so much, green-haired lady. I'm so happy for you! All of the females are gonna sound the same. All of them. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going, go see the Great Deku Tree! So I already know that there's a guy over there that won't let me through until I have the sword and the shield. Some of the rupees. So we're gonna go get the sword first. Cause why not? Just a backflip, backflip. Oh. Ooh, rupees. Where's the? Where's the hole? Ooh, these holes are a bit. They're not used often, I don't think. But they're basically the main gate to make it so if, that if you want to do something as an adult, you can't. Ah! No! This <laughs> stupid rock! Ow! I want to go this way. It's right there, right? Yeah. No! Ow! I'm so bad at this game now. Oh man. Shiny dagger. So the thing that really got to me, when, well, just now, actually, is this thing was not very well hidden. I mean, this is very obvious little cave. And, uh, it's a hidden treasure. Like, what? That button? Whoa! <laughs> That's fun! <laughs> well, anyway. Please don't ruin it. Oh, did you do it again? <laughs> That's just gonna make this so much better. The pause menu is LST mode. Alright, don't hit me anymore, Mr. Boulder. Oh, there's a the blue one right here. Okay, so we got our sword. Now we need a bunch of rupees to buy the shield, which is 40, I think? Yeah. I 
think the textures on this uh, this thing that I'm using to play this might be a little bit better than normal. Because that looks a little bit more high resolution than everything else around it, these bushes. Do you see that? Or is that just me being crazy? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being crazy. Oh. Hit the thing. Oh, there we go. Uh, where else can I get rid of these? I think there's a few over here. This is where you learn Z-targeting, right? Yeah. Okay. So we got that one. Can we just... Can we not target something? There we go. What do you want, Nobby? The great Deku Tree has summoned you! Please come with me! Yeah, I already know, Nobby. Thank you. Thank you. I'm getting there. Just need monies. Monies? Monies! Or rupees. Go rock! Go rock! <laughs> Having issues there, red hair man? Oh, orange. You're a redhead. Aha! A rupee! So the N64 controllers, they've got little notches for the joystick to go in. And I am not using an N64 controller right now. I'm using a Logitech controller that's a lot like the PlayStation one. I got one like this, right? Yeah. Wonderful. Is there one for this one too? I don't remember. I think there might be. We're gonna find out. So yeah, I'm using... Nope. A controller that's basically a PlayStation controller, and it does that. Because it's over-sensitive. Maybe I can find some settings to do that. Oh, whoa, hello. Your twin's over on the other side, by the way, buddy. So yeah, maybe I can find some controller settings that work better for me, that aren't so... touchy? I don't know if there's really a way around it, though. I just have to get used to the camera movement, which is the hard part in the first place of this game. And most old N64 games, actually. The camera just likes to adjust on you at random times. And it got kind of annoying. Oh. I just turned down the sounds on my headset. Hopefully that doesn't affect what you guys hear. I need six more. Six. Ooh, there's five. Oh wait, I know where more are. We're good. We're good. We're good. Wow, my voice just cracked. Probably from doing all the female voices at the beginning here. Hi, Derek! Look this way! Look over here with Z and talk to me with A! No. No, I don't want to. I would rather kick a tree. Is there a ruby over here? Yeah, there is. Good. Welcome! Hey, look! Foreshadowing. There's arrows. I wonder if that means there's going to be a bow at some point. I the Deku Shield. Do 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 do. That was extremely off pitch. Press R to crouch and defend. If you press R while Z targeting, you can move while defending. Would you like to buy something else? No. LSD mode activate. <laughs> you can't even. <laughs> is the map okay? Okay, the map's okay. But look at that. That is just. I don't. I don't even know. Maybe I'll figure it out some other time. But for now, I like it. I like LSD mode, it's entertaining. There, now I look like a proper kid Link. Out of my way! Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Huh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield! And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Well, aren't you a prick? Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. You know, normally, you don't say grumble, grumble. You just, you actually grumble. Just saying. Where's the thingy? Where's the thingy? Ah, there you are. 
da 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 You got a Deku stick! Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nope. So there's a rumble button, like a vibration button, on this controller. For whatever reason. At the exact place that uh, the start button normally is. Got that LSD mode, it's fantastic. <laughs> and I press it instead of start sometimes, and then my controller starts shaking and I freak out a little bit. Oh, more of this. Great Deku Tree, I'm back! Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Derek, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares, as the servants of evil gain strength. A vile climate pervades the land. Pervades? Yeah. And causes the nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Derek, the time has come to test thy courage. So you know, I think I understand now why he talks with, like, old English. Because I never really thought about it before, but it just clicked in my head. That he's a tree, and he's extremely old. So he's probably from that time period. Makes sense to me. I might have skipped that. Oh well. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Uh, I don't know. I guess. Maybe. This could be a bad idea. Then enter, brave Derek, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy. Thou must aid Derek, and Derek, when Navi speaks, you see up to listen to her words of wisdom. Well, thank you for that random tidbit of knowledge. I appreciate it. I have a stick. I have a stick. I have a stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Into the mouth we go. Inside the Deku tree. I'm going to narrate everything that comes up on the screen as much as possible. If for no other reason than to be annoying. Hello? Death be upon you! You know, I really could use some big nuts to go with the stick. Oh, no, oh, wrong button. Look at this wall, the vines are growing on it. Give it a... <laughs> I think how he's frozen, but he blinked that one time. Did you see it? Look, he's blinking! But nothing's moving except for my eyeball, well, eyelids, and Navi. Take your nut. There we go. Dee 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 dee. Put it to see and try throwing it. It will flash and stun the enemy. No way! LSD mode activate! Up the ladder. That's a very high definition ladder, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the non terrain graphics are uh, slightly higher in quality than normal. Whoa. This is the map of the compass. I don't remember. It's one of the two. Da -da -da -da. That was better. It's the map! Next! The blue chambers are places you have already visited. Your current location is the flashing room. Move up and down to select a floor. Yeah, there's things up there that I can't kill yet. So we'll go in this big, scary looking door. Yes, thank you. You can open the door! <laughs> by standing in front of it and pressing A! Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the blue icon at the top of the screen. Oh, Navi. And oh, me for. It's like. Aha! Ow, ow, ow! Forgive me, Master. 
If I give you a clue, will you let me go? My voices are so similar. I'm so bad at this voice acting thing. When you jump up a high cliff, if you hold forward, you will roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall. Zelda Ocarina of Time with Derekster with a cameo by Mickey Mouse playing every other role in the game. I can't guarantee it will work though if the cliff is really, really high. Hehe. <laughs> Well, try it if you were feeling bold. Wahaha! <laughs> this door looks different again. We'll just we'll dodge that platform for now because I know what it does. No, oh, no, oh, climb the thing. There we go. Give me my slingshot. Let's go. <laughs> The fairy slingshot! Woo! Slingshot! <sighs> I'm telling you, these textures are higher quality than they're on the N64. They've gotta be. By just a little bit. LSD mode, activate! You can go there. Up these. Your hearts. It's a heart? Yeah. Can't believe I remembered that. Down. Hey look, a ladder that I don't care anything about, cause I did it this way. Alright, so now that we've got the slingshot. We can take out these bad boys. So this is gonna be interesting to do. Cause I have to like hold a joystick down. There. And then I can just go up and see target that's if I wanted. Where's the fun in that? This teaches me to actually do things properly. No! Dang it! So yeah, I have to hold the right joystick, like imagining a PlayStation controller, down, and then let go of it to fire again. While aiming with the other one. Which now that I realize it is inverted, but that's how I normally play first-person like shooter-type games, so it doesn't really bother me any. That totally explains why I play them inverted, though, because of this and Conquer's Bad Fur Day, <laughs> which I played a little bit of back in the day. Oh, wrong button. Well, just wasted a seat, but whatever. So up we go. Up, 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 up. You can see his belt from the inside. That's something new. Alright. So, from up here... We'll check out this door. Yeah. Oh, this thing. Okay. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Now we test my ability to control myself. Uh, bad. Oh! Okay, wait for another go. Can I jump just straight to the next one? I don't think I can. We're gonna try it. Oh. Well, that made that easy. This should be the compass? Compass, I think? Yeah. Dee 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 dee! You have found the compass! No, oh, isn't there... Yeah. That doesn't actually do anything to you. Can you shut up? Thank you. Alright, so I do want to get the Gold Skulltulla over there. Get out of here. Oh, that's to open the door again. So to get that... Oh! <laughs> Almost run off the edge first. Go this way, and then this way, and then... Yes! I made it anyway! There we go. 
da, 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 da. You destroyed a gold skull tulla. You get a token proving you destroyed it. Beautiful. Get out of here. Nope. Open chest. Kick. Meh. Get out of here. Alright. So we'll grab his loots. Dee 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 dee! I've only been using those already! Small hard seas it uses bullets for your slingshot. Beautimus. Alright. So we will get out of here. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And if you wait long enough and hit put away, you save your stick, even though it was on fire. And we are going to end this episode right here. So be sure to leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed, or both. Both would be good. And if you aren't already subscribed, subscribe for more content coming out in the future. This series especially. I'm looking forward to the rest of this one because I really do like this game. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode.